Hey guys, and welcome to an original Retry This production. Today, I'm going to show you this little method I just thought of in a few minutes, a few seconds actually, it just came to me. So this method is for people who want to make a platformer game, or whatever game you could think of, and you want to have an animated player. By animated, I mean the sprites actually look like he's running, and he's climbing, or doing whatever. But you can't draw, or you don't know how to draw the player, or can't draw the player. Well, I just thought of the idea, because many of you know what Pivot Stick Figure Animator is, or how to use it. If you don't, there's a link in the description to download it. It's basically a stick figure animator, and I just thought, what if you could make your Pivot Stick Figure animations, and you could save them as an image and load them onto Game Maker. Or you could save them as an animated GIF and load them onto Game Maker as a sprite for your player. And so I just remembered that idea is actually possible. This idea is very easy to do, but not many people are aware that you can even do it or aware of the putting the connection between Game Maker and Pivot. So let me just show you. Now, I just created this running animation in like five seconds because this is like the fourth time I created this video and then I X'd it out, so now I'm just really frustrated. So yeah, I just created this in five seconds. I'm not actually going to use this. I have a better one. I made it. So, this is just a running, let's say it's a running animation that I just put together in like five seconds. So, to save it as a animated GIF, so you can use it in Game Maker, what you do, File, Save Animation, Save as Type, click on the arrow here, and select Animated GIF, dot GIF, dot GIF. Let's call it Run. Let's call it Run Run. And then you press Save. What you would have, to, now, this, the GIF options will appear. What you want to do, make sure there's a check next to Merge, a, t a check next to crop and next to playlist make sure that the box is empty or else your image will not come out right and it will be messed up the rest you can customize yourself and select OK now we'll save it onto your desktop as an animated GIF that's not important right now what you can do next <laughs> is you can I pre-created everything but whatever to load them on, create sprite, load sprite, and you load it, call it what's called run run. Make sure precise collision checking is off. There's not a check next to it. Press center, center the image, and you have your running animation created. It's pretty easy. So that's how you create your basic running animation. So what I just did, let me just delete this. I created a standing animation also for my player. This is the standing player when he's just standing facing to the right. I did this also in Pivot. This is him standing to the left. I just used image transform mirror horizontal. This is him standing to the left. All the same settings, precise collision checking off, center. And then I also created the running. This is the good one. This is the better one. It took me one minute actually to create on the dot, one minute. This is the running one that I created. Him running to the right and the player running to the left. So now you are free to use them in your Game Maker games. So, yeah. I have my player here. He works out fine. I'll just show you the events really quick so you can know what to do. So, yeah. When he's created, when he's created, SPR underscore standing R, so he's standing still. And facing the right, sub image zero, speed zero. Set the horizontal speed to zero so he's not moving. Basic gravity code, so he falls down. Collision with the wall object. Here's the wall object. It's just a solid block. 
press left, change it to the running player facing left, running L for running left, sub image 0, speed of 4, so the image speed is 4, so it looks like he's animated and running. Set the horizontal speed to negative 10, so he moves to the left. The same thing for the right, except he's SPR underscore running R, or running right. Horizontal speed is 10. Release left, change sprite into SPR underscore standing L, or standing left, so he's facing the left direction, and he's sub-image zero, speed of zero, so he's not moving. Horizontal speed is zero, so he's not moving. Release right, same thing, except SPR underscore standing R, sub-image zero, speed zero, horizontal speed zero. So make sure all those settings apply to each sprite. Precise collision checking is off centered and your player centered and yeah let me show you what it will look like really quick so here's my player the collision is a little off because my play the bounding box but that's not a big deal so he's running he's running he's running yeah, there we go. He's running, he's running, he's running. Left. As I said, the bounding, as I said, the collision is a little off, but that's not a really big deal. So he's running, he's running, he's running. Running, 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 running. You could change the image speed if you want. I didn't. I didn't feel like it. And there we go. Oh, this has been an original retry this production. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe.